for us to know that these people are here and well represented. Honorable Bulus Aldo, the APC senatorial candidate for Kaduna South, is in the building. Don't get tired of clapping. You see, because when you clap for people, they go clap for you too. All right, Cardis, a round of applause for him, please.
is a leader, a very focused gentleman who knows how to get what he wants from anybody, group or organization. I'm sure it's not by mistake you see this kind of crowd gathered here because he is somebody even when he's serious you see him smiling but when it comes to work he will not no matter whether you are his friend or his brother he will insist you must deliver that thing. And I think that's what Manuel saw in him and brought him. We thank God for what he was able to do, especially the physical projects that were seen. He was the driver behind the scene. And I believe when Zone 2 gives him this opportunity. I assured you a lot of roots will have something to do and he will contribute not just to the United States but to Nigeria. Thank you. Our distinguished senator to be Ishala from Hungary. Our honorable member House of Reps. All protocol duly of that. Uh, I'm here to say I want to speak briefly about the Senate, who happens to be my boss, my friend, my brother, and a mentor at the same time. Uh, I work closely with the teacher for the past seven years. He's the one that dragged me into public service. So I really appreciate the experience I had under his leadership. Because whoever works with that teacher, that teacher will definitely change his life. So there are so many things that we have achieved together with that teacher in this government. And uh, what I would say, if I stand here speaking about that teacher, I will spend the whole day, the whole night, the whole week saying so many things about him. Uh, we have been together with the teacher for the past 30 years. We are friends, like I said, and we are brothers. So, uh, I don't have much to say. I will only speak briefly. And uh, my friend and brother is contesting for the position of uh, Senator for the Kaduna Central Senatorial. Uh, what I would say is to seek for your support and to mobilize your own people wherever they are, especially the youth, the students, and the women to vote for their children. I wish you all the best. God bless you all. We want to believe that when we vote for him and we work with him, he will change our lives. Definitely. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. Mr. Zainab Mohammed? Uh, Mr. Zainab Mohammed, let me come and walk. I want to wish you a happy birthday and to thank you for being an awesome support system for me since I came into the Kaduna State Government. Um, I told people today that I'm a Fashion Ibrahim Fellowship Administrator because of you. Yes, Malam appointed me, but you encouraged me to take up the position. I never thought I could do it, um, but you pushed me and you encouraged me, and I want to thank you for that. So when I've done that thing, that you change the lives of people you work with or you touch their lives, which is true, and I can't testify to that. Thank you for always being, giving an ear to me whenever I have issues and just, you know, helping me through. So I wish you the very best as you push on to the next level. I can already see it. I know that um, 
humanity will be the better for it and continuously will be the better for it. So I wish you the very best to always have our support for this and the future. I put that in my hand and my brother. Thank you very much, Mark. Quick one and the other side. I like to call on. What I can tell you people is Mohammed is grounded. The fact that he went through SS International School, you guys should support him. Because SS products <laughs> are good to go. And Mohammed is good to go. So, in fact, why the more bros, you know? Kaduna Central. Kaduna Central. Go and tell your people. Tijo, Chicken, and Gamma Magala. Almighty be praised. Nobody has raised the stage. Mohammed signed a Tijo, who happens to be the celebrant as a friend, as a brother. We've known each other since secondary school. And uh, I can confidently tell you that he's a focused person. Close to 20 years ago, he met me. And he said it's important that we get or involve ourselves with politics. It was alien to me then. And he said governance is changing. And it is very important to be part of governance. So he set out, did so much for himself, developed himself personally so that he'll be able to handle the rigors of politics and governance. At that time, we thought, was not the path for us. Basically, we were looking at white collar jobs and uh, comfortable places to be to avoid all the hurdles and obscurities of governance. But he forged ahead. Uh, years later, I got interested. He was very instrumental. Uh, I can confidently say that, uh, Alhamdulillah, I am a member of House of Representatives with his immense contribution, his immense help, and immense guidance. I'll always be grateful for that. People of Kaduna Central Senatorial Zone are very lucky. And why do I say that? Currently, you have excellent representation at the National Assembly one of the best representation. For sustainability, for continuity, you also have a candidate that can match it and can do as much as what is being done and also do more for the senatorial district of Kaduna Central. So that is why I say people of Kaduna Central are very lucky. Not every constituency is this lucky, not every senatorial zone is lucky, but the Luna Central Senatorial Zone is absolutely lucky. So I call on everyone from the senatorial zone to please come together and vote for Mohammed Saini Detiju for Senator come 2023. Thank you very much. The surprise performance. I have much to say about the celebrant. Because for me, and for everyone that is seated here, both those of us who have come very close to him, and those of us who are a bit away from the Tiju, you agree with me that our generation are very lucky to have someone like the Tiju. At least for me, for anyone that have known me in the cycle of politics knows that I'm a member or I used to be a member of the PDP. I have grown through the ranks in PDP and honestly that teacher gave me every reason not only to leave PDP but to abandon everything that I have built in PDP to join APC. Let you just give me the reason to leave all my political associates that I have built relationships with to come very close to the Tijo. Now, 
Before the days of PDP and APC, I have known the TJO to be a very upright, very visionary, very committed person. Let me give you an example. For those of us who are ABU or Abu sites, I will just give you one example. In ABU, for those of us who are in Samaru, for anybody that knows Faculty of Social Science and the Department of Economics, you will know that it takes eight years to graduate from Economics. Eight years, averagely. And I was glad to know that you was part of the students that graduated from Economics in four years. A round of applause, I Not just the four years, he graduated with second class upper. He was almost a first class student. That is one. Two, ladies and gentlemen, I have every reason to sacrifice everything that I have to support the Tijo. Because when I needed the Tijo, the Tijo gave me all the support that I needed. Right from the time I worked with the governor of Kaduna State, he did not only support me, but he brought the current deputy secretary general of the United Nations to support Kaduna State government. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. The rest are stories. I won't have to tell. I will tell that another day. That Tijo single-handedly, when I was working with the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Tijo then was working also in the presidency. He dedicated his time, his intellects, his resources to come to my office to draw up an agenda. That again is another story for another day. Because each time I make presentation to the Vice President at the time, He's always shocked at the precision, at the level of quality of work, and I'm sure the Vice President today will always remember that input. I remember very well, before those days, when I was in Kaduna, the Chito had an opportunity in the UNDP. He called me, and I said, I want us to join UNDP. He did not only give me, he gave me the guide to apply, but he ensured I was on the last list to join UNDP. Now, tell me, what else can you do to a friend that has done this so much to you, whether you are in PDP or in Labour or any political party? For me, like Asiwaju Ahmed Tinubu said, would always say, that it is payback time. So whatever I do, or I will do, is a payback time for the team. And I'm not doing this out of sentiment. I am not supporting the teacher because he is just my friend. I'm not supporting him because he has done the number of things, the few things I have mentioned. I am doing this because the teacher is competent. I am doing this because the teacher, if you compare him with all the candidates, in the PDP, in the Labour, and in all the political parties, he is the most competent candidate to represent us in Kaduna Centre. Yes, sir. Out of sentiments, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying this for the record. That children is happily married to two wives. I want you guys to take notes. And there is an agreement. We have an agreement with the two wives that there will not be any marriage in the next 10 years. So nobody should look into that. There is no vacancy. I'm the marketing you because I agree that I'm going to say this here. So the ladies in the hall, we need your, in as much as we need your support, there is a boundary in whatever support you can give. Thank you, sir. Well, there is no time. Let me round up at this point to thank everyone that is here, the organizers, and everyone that has put this together. Thank you so much. Detijo is really ready 
to represent us and to give every support to Kaduna Central, to the youths. I am sure for those of us that know the uh, Kaduna ICT Hub, I will tell you it is the brain work of their Tijo. And from that program, we have about a thousand youths that are fully employed in digital literacy. And that is just the beginning. More and more will come as we go into the Senate with their Tijo representing us. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir.
We will wait. My name is Erasmus of H Group Bishop Talk for short. I'm an entertainment um, consultant. I'm a comedian, DJ hype man. I do anything that brings people together. Sir, please don't be distracted by the noise. That's how they start. I just want you to listen to my question in 10 seconds. Some years ago, Kaduna used to be the hall where everybody, especially Kaduna Central, where you will be our senator because that teacher is coming. You will be our senator, sir. Now, Kaduna uh, uh, Central used to be where we used to have those days, Rockman's Groove, Bessina Heading Golden Tones, those beautiful old days, Balamila, to, to fusing entertainment into your policy because that's the only language we young people understand. Kaduna is the entertainment headquarters of the North. What will you do to help us raise the bar in terms of support, in terms of allowing multinationals to come in to invest in our craft? Some of us don't run leave. Actually came in this evening because of your party, because I want to meet one on one and talk. What do you go do to make these things work? Thank you very much. Simple question, sir. You get plans for entertainers for Kaduna State. Abi, summary of your question. Uh -huh. Over to you, sir. Can I stand? Yes, sir. Please. So, thank you very much. Um, I want to start by thanking everybody uh, for coming. And the organizers, I think, have done a fantastic job. Can we give a round of applause to the organizers? Um, to your question, uh, I wish the cameras were off. But you know, I always say that um, if my life had turned out a little bit different, I would have been a rapper. Yes. <laughs> so I still have that uh, career in mind. If I don't get the celebrity, that's still a possibility. <laughs> so, but seriously, I, I mean, I, I feel what you have uh, said. And I don't know how many of you went to the 2020 countdown ceremony. 2020 countdown. 2020 countdown. Okay, I mean, that was put together by my office at the time. And what we had wanted to do was to do what you are saying, to start to bring back things like this. I'm so happy, you know, going around the room, seeing many artists from all parts of Kaduna, um, all parts of the country. And I think that this is something that we need to do much more frequently. We are not to celebrate the Tiju, to celebrate the fantastic work that people from this table are doing. You know, people from that table, there's another table there that are artists. I think all of you are doing fantastic, phenomenal work. And one thing I think that we have missed out on in Kaduna in particular, is that there has been in the last five years a Nollywood fund. How many of you know about it? How many of you know about it? It's billions of naira, bro. Yes. Billions of naira, but most of it has been trapped in Lagos artists. Is that true? Yes. That's true, right? So we need to do a much stronger job in getting that fund to flow to the Kadawood artists, to the artists here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all of that, that's really what we need to fight for. Okay, and I think that if we put our heads together, right, and make a case, we can see how has this money flowed and ensure that most of it is coming to Kaduna. I think that we have some of the most brilliant artists, not only in Nigeria, but in Africa. The radio junkies that I've seen here, the um, paint artists, the graphic designers, the actors, the actresses, it's just phenomenal. So, I mean, your area is something that I really want to do a lot of focus on, and I hope that we can get together and write something that will be. So, thank you very much. I hope that works. I'm 
ya zaka rayo fulani yana cikin dan matsala saboda so da yawa ana kallon cewa duka wannan abu ta adda fulani ne suke yi shi kuma rashin tsaro yana fitowa ne daga kowane bangare don duka duba duniya gaba da za ta ga cewa akwai wannan abu amma wannan lokaci wasu a cikin kungiya ko kuma su a cikin wani harshe ko kuma su a cikin wasu mutane sai su ba sauran mutane gaba da sai su bata mutane gaba da saboda haka gaskiya akwai aiki za a yi fulani wanda ba su ga cikin wannan hanta ta adda ba sun dade a manta da su a cikin gwamnati so da yawa za ta ga cewa saboda mutane ne wanda suke tafiya ba su zama wuri daya ɗaya ɗan su ba a ba su zuwa makaranta za ta ga cewa ba su da wani kati wanda zai zuba cewa su yi tsakani kuma saboda akwai su a mali a chat a kasashe da yawa akan doke su a ai kuskure akan suwa ne ne ai ne taka saboda haka dole ne za mu samu a zauna da shugabannin fulani gaba da duka ma wasa za ka ci a kai wannan fulani a ciki saboda haka gaskiya fulani akwai aiki ba ba na farko na tantancewa na suwa ne ne a cikin najeriya sannan kuma na ware suwa ne ne wanda suke kawo rashin tsaro da kuma a wannan tasta wa ne ne su san wa lafiya sannan ta ya zabi mu kawo wannan aikin da kuna da suke yi na motsi da shanu su a ko ina ya ta ya za mu taimaka a zama cewa suna da manya manyan gonaki da ciyawa da za a yi da jeda wannan fada da wannan ba aiki ne babba akwai da suka ba a kai da yawa wanda insha Allah za mu shiga wani dubawa kuma da ta mako ku za mu ga ba da zai insha Allah We have um, 70% of members going for PDP and other things. Other parties. So, what are the strategies to revive the PDP back to that world? Thank you. I think that um, for Umwendosa, if you remember where Umwendosa was uh, five years ago, before between legislative quarters and the main road, you spent how many minutes? 40 minutes to one hour, right? Coming out from Kumbodosa is one hour. Today is how many minutes? Three minutes, two minutes. Bro, well, besides that, you have new access roads coming from the back and also into the back. So I think it is your responsibility really to talk to the people of that community. I think that we shouldn't forget so soon where we were as a state. This government, we haven't been able to achieve everything, but there's definitely been a lot of progress. If you look at the candidates in almost every single level, between APC and the BDP and other parties, the APC candidates are supremely better qualified. So I think I would like for Dosa youth to be able to organize and sit with the people there If you need me to come in, I will come in. If you need material, I will come to talk to them so that we don't make a mistake and go back to those years of lack of development. Thank you very much. He makes it way So we're ready now. Now let's go back to entertainment. Since we have a lot of entertainers. Today is a celebrant. We're going to teach you now. Let's check out. Inshallah, our incoming senator, Kaduna Central. Let's go, DJ. Let's go. Hear me. Check. Yeah. I ain't ready now. Let's go. I can go get it. I don't need to get a walk. Check. Check. I can go get it. I don't need to get a walk. Turn the gas up and get it. Have you ever seen a car? Yeah, we need to say it. Don't get it. Never not. Never say it. Don't get it. Nata bu gari gari do bin dare da waka tun daga sabon gari har zuwa sabon naka charu ne da sa'idu ka je ka nemi naka wanda sa'idu ka je ka sa'idu 
Artisans, painters, artists. These are their first work officially. First work where these people do. This is a special presentation to say thank you very much for empowering us to attend this training. They are going to be gifting all these paintings to our senator. Now the question is, where are we going to put up? Are we talking senator? Where are, what, where are we going to place all of these? No, we can go share and to people. We can give everybody. Maybe we get no, each of our campaign offices and yes. different council and yes. give them one by one. Yes. I also heard that. That thing that Jesse Josh did in Banawa, yes. that big painting, he could do one everywhere. Everywhere, three. Yes, he could use him out to tell us. Right? So, Jesse, uh -huh. Jesse, talk to us. You are the head of these great men and women, so please talk to us. Thank you, Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Sani, Dirty Joe. Um, I really appreciate you. Take, take, take. I really appreciate you for your personality. Um, I just fell in love with Sani Netijo naturally because he saw a work we were doing some youth empowerment um, in Lagos, not even in Kaduna. So someone posted on Twitter and said, these are the kind of people that are supposed to be in government, not appointing any other people to be SA or whatever. And then boss saw it I was like, hey, who is that guy? I would like to see him. And that was how. So that's genuine. He's not because of his campaign or anything. He is a genuine youth lover. I'm not talking about Kaduna, Lagos, but he's acknowledging the fact that someone from Kaduna is doing stuff over there. And I met him. I told him about my work. He said, um, you know what, Jesse? Why I got attracted to you was because of the youth. Not really because of another thing, but the youth and in their numbers. Now we've been doing CGMC, we came around, we said, boss, look at what we're doing. And he's like, okay, let's sponsor some of the youth. Like sharp sharp. You know if we get person we get in level, we will respond to your call or WhatsApp. I can tell you that for real. But Sanity Joe, if you give him a chance, trust me, you can walk to an office and like get to see him and he'll have your time. Because he's a youth and he understands your language. Yeah. So thank you very much. These are some of the people here, but there are a whole lot. I want to say thank you. And please bring my own special gift for him. Okay, so this work is actually, I started it yesterday and I finished it today. So it's less than 24 hours. Who's a this and there, baby? Who's a round of applause for Jesse Josh and his team? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jesse Josh. Thank you very much, the whole CGMC. Let me summarize and take all the pictures in there. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. As we continue, thank you very
Sarah is not going to be here. So I want to thank um, uh, the organizing team, Asabe, Aisha Dudu, Jesse Josh, Ali Donnelly, um, the five people that were in the organizing group, first of all, Gracie, uh, Morpheus, who is my boy, I used to teach him basketball. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, thank you everybody, all the groups um, that are here, all the individuals, truly I really appreciate it. And without everybody here, there's no team. So thank you very much, Allah Isaac and Adeli. And the way that you have all come here, may you all come back to your houses uh, When I came to Kaduna, I was uh, 35. Right, which was in 2015 when I came when I came to the I was appointed commissioner by the governor as 35 years old. Today I'm a very old man, I'm 43. <laughs> very old, right? I'm very old today, I'm 43. And uh, I, I honestly can't believe how fast the years have gone by. Um, I have lived almost more than half of my life already. If I can tell you so much. I'm very happy that you are all here celebrating with me. I really truly appreciate each and every single one of you. My team, I'll say my team um, that always is there for me. Um, Ami Biyaki, Abdel Aladan, Moikanta, uh, Omar Yaro, Adamo Hayatu, Idris, uh, Nere, uh, my local government teams, um, coach is here, Baba Yaro has left. Uh, my friends and support groups, many, many are here. Khadija, um, Awan Orbit, Saka, Dr. Lovo, um, Salisu, Bernawa. I'm just saying people as I, as I see them. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Samuel um, has changed the game. Baba. with political reporting and uh, he's probably one Baba. of the best photographers in Africa today. Yes. Uh, my, my, hand, my right hand man, uh, Baba, my other name, you know, you know, I don't know anybody. <laughs> uh, uh, my driver, I with everybody that is here. I really, truly appreciate it. Now that you up to you can uh, all the customers are looking at you. Also, women for the teacher, Mother Raman Ali, every group, every single group, I really appreciate you. And I'm going to be writing um, to thank every single one of you as we go along. The election is still four months away. We haven't won. We sure haven't won. won. We have competition. <laughs> and anybody that tells you that we should go and sleep that the election is done, is lying. Okay? We have to go out, we have to look for people the girls, look for people that go and party. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Are you ready for the work? Yes, sir. Let us be here, inshallah, to celebrate. To celebrate. Inshallah. Are you here to celebrate? Thank you very much. I really, truly appreciate every single one of you that is here. Um, I was escorted here by my senior brothers, um, the senatorial candidate for two three, Bulus Alto, who has left. Um, he's a very good person. I worked with him on the hedges. I appealed to people in Kaduna to agree to support uh, him. Uh, my brother and friend, honorable member representing uh, the local government, was here in Chachawe. He's still here. Thank you so much. Um, Ahmed Baba, um, who is here, Abdul Halim, everybody, Idris Nele, uh, Adam Barbe, who has his oversized uh, Bafari Gang. You know, everybody that is here, I really appreciate it. Uh, Farouk, um, Hassan, Kohan, and Boazadik everybody. I really appreciate it. I miss the stars. You want to go say you want to go Okay? So if I... Not said your name is not because I don't appreciate it, it's just because the names are too many. Unlike Zaka, Kaleri, Esa, uh, 